one, go! I am very disappointed with Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. The first movie I found was very enjoyable, with lots of great humor, and while I felt like it was a little bit of a sellout movie with things like the Laffy Taffy scene, it made up for it with very emotional moments and fun characters. I wasn't sure what I was really expecting with a sequel, but I really felt like this movie was lacking. I mean, the internet is this huge worldwide phenomenon, and I feel like they weren't really exploring it, just bringing up a topic and then leaving it before we really get to dive into it. I mean, for example, the story is Ralph has to become a viral video star in order to get enough money to buy a new steering wheel for Sugar Rush. And Ralph then decides at one point of the movie to read some of the comments. And of course, it is the internet, so most of them are negative. And just when I thought we were going to try to address something that, you know, is really a problem in the internet these days, they just kind of drop it and move on. I feel like they're just scratching the surface of many of these ideas and topics of the internet that they could tackle, but they basically just bring it up and then move on. But I think for me, the biggest problem is I didn't find this movie all that funny. I mean, the jokes are really just didn't hit home for me. Not to mention that some of the characters that we liked in the first movie are completely sidelined and are given absolutely nothing to do. Now, with all that being said, besides the movie being a bit predictable, I didn't hate it. I just really didn't care for it. It is a by-the-numbers movie, and the only character I really felt for was Sarah Silverman's character, Vanellope. Her deal is about not being satisfied with your place and wanting to try something new, but something that might split you apart from your friends. And yeah, you know what? I get that. I mean, growing up, I had friends that I thought we were going to be close forever, but through the passage of time, it didn't really turn out that way. But I have to say, wasn't the whole point of the last movie being comfortable with who you are and what your place is? I mean, seriously, leaving your game for another was a really bad thing in the last movie, but now it seems like oh, that's no big deal. It really almost feels like this movie's theme and the last ones contradict each other. The last one being, you know, know your place and be happy with where you are, and this one is, no, follow your dreams, go out there and, and do these new things. I will say the final act, while well, being done by the book and you know, I could call what it was going to do. It does have a very stunning visual element that is actually extremely creepy and unnerving. But in the end, I'm going to give Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet a 4 out of 10. It is a below average film. I didn't really care for it much. I mean, it's Disney, so it has great animation and some good jokes. But overall, I feel like it feels like those emails you get that say you've won a million dollars. You know, it's it's promising much more than it can deliver. P.S. You know what sucks the most? Remember that funny scene in the trailer with the rabbit and the pancakes? It's not in this movie! Come on, guys, that was your best scene! I don't care if it didn't make sense in the context of the film, it was your best scene, and you cut it!